Finally tonight, a new era in astronomy. NASA releasing a full batch of images and data from the massive James Webb Space Telescope, providing a first look at the cosmic mysteries yet to be untangled by the largest and most powerful space observatory. The edge of the universe just got a whole lot scarier thanks to the groundbreaking discovery of the James Webb Telescope. The JWST is one of the most advanced methods of discovering the deep cosmos humanity has ever known. The JWST is known as the successor to the Hubble Telescope. It is about 100 times more powerful than the Hubble and is able to capture longer infrared wavelengths, which allows it to see highly redshifted galaxies far deep into space. By looking farther into the distance, the JWST is able to look farther back in time. Effectively, the telescope is able to look at the beginning of time and space by seeking the earliest stars and galaxies. Prepare to have your understanding of the universe turned upside down as we unveil the terrifying new structures discovered by the James Webb Space Telescope in this video. Do you want to stay in the know of the latest JWST discoveries? Hit the like and subscribe button on our YouTube channel for the latest content. So, without further ado, let's begin. Over the last couple of decades, thousands of new planets beyond our solar system have been discovered by NASA's space telescopes. Even though these discoveries were very promising, space enthusiasts had to wait for the next generation of more advanced observatories to get a closer look at these exoplanets to see if they might get a look into life's building blocks. The most promising next-generation telescope was NASA's long-awaited James Webb Space Telescope, and truly, it lives up to its promises. After only a few months of being officially operational, the JWST delivered results that we could only have dreamed of until now. Far deep in the early universe, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope is discovering previously unseen galaxies which could possibly host alien life. The first object that the JWST was most recently pointed to is GJ1214b, which is a popular target for astronomers seeking clues to the nature of alien worlds. Because light takes time to travel, the telescope is actually looking back in time when it is investigating such objects. GJ1214b can be traced back to the first 400 million years of the universe, which brings you pretty close to the Big Bang. But how was this new exoplanet actually discovered? Laura Kreedberg, then an astronomy graduate at the University of Chicago, discovered GJ1214b with data from the Hubble Space Telescope, which was NASA's most powerful space observatory 10 years ago. GJ124b is a Neptune-like exoplanet that orbits an M-type star. Its mass is 8.17 times greater than Earth's, and it takes 1.6 days to complete one orbit of its star the most likely exoplanet that could host alien life. By observing the Hubble's pictures, Kreedberg hoped to find markers for water vapor, which would hint at the presence of oceans, and sulfur, which would hint at the presence of volcanoes. These two are both essential for making a planet habitable for any form of life, exactly what Kreedberg was looking for in her investigation. With the invention of the JWST, astronomers took a second try. When they compared the old Hubble pictures with the one the JWST had shot, astronomers were able to discover new features on one of the oldest galaxies. To study the universe, both telescopes use a technology known as gravitational lensing. As the light emitted by distant galaxies pass by massive objects in the universe, the gravitational pull from these objects can distort or bend the light. Where the Hubble was lacking in resolution and therefore in its ability to give a clear display of what JG1214b has to offer, the JWST was the last hope to discover what they were looking for. The massive new telescope had been launched in 2021 and has six times the light gathering power of the Hubble. Hopes were high and astronomers were expecting to find molecules that indicate life, such as oxygen or a combination of carbon dioxide and methane. With a resolution superior to the Hubble and a wavelength extending into the infrared, 
the JWST is perfectly capable of detecting potential exoplanet biosignatures. Unfortunately for Kreedberg, even with this new technology, she did not have any success. Due to the high presence of aerosols in the atmosphere, the vision of the JWST was blocked and the chemical richness she wanted to capture was hidden beneath a mysterious cloud or a haze. The only way she could reach the surface of this planet would be to look through these clouds or hazes. Researchers have quite a decent understanding about how these clouds are formed. It is made out of a handful of common planetary gases which interact and form into clouds. A haze, on the other hand, is a different story. Hazes, which can be made up of complex molecules, form and interact with light on other planets. This makes it difficult to interpret data obtained from telescopes, according to Dr. Peter Gao of the Carnegie Institution of Science. It's like putting together a puzzle, but you're missing a piece. Scientists would not be scientists if they gave it up after this discovery. The hunt for the missing piece had just begun. Thankfully, a handful of vetted scientists were prepared to supply Kreedberg with that missing piece. One of them was a planetary scientist who had spent years trying to understand the methane-based hazes on Titan, which is the icy moon of Saturn. Sarah Horst tried to accomplish this by recreating these in the lab. To do so, she had to modify her setup to create these haze particles in warmer exoplanet conditions. What they found out was that the old models that Kreedberg was basing her decisions on were far outdated. In order to understand what is going on, it was highly important to update these models according to the knowledge of today. We have to go to the laboratory to reproduce these conditions, Kreedberg says. That is really the key to solving this problem in order to update these models. Photochemistry is needed to make more sense of the spectra flattened and distorted by alien hazes. How did they ever reproduce these conditions? Is that even possible? Since the 1950s, scientists have been simulating photochemistry in order to understand the organic complexities of other bodies in our solar system, including tholins. By simulating photochemistry in a lab, these tholins are created. Tholins can be described as sticky grains made of long-chain carbon-based molecules, which have helped explain the blue glow around Pluto and motivate the search for life on Titan. If used in the right way, these tholins might be able to identify the composure of the haze around GJ1214b as they can function as the missing piece of the puzzle. Scientists found out that tholins are able to scatter light in different directions, which erodes many of the distinctive absorption features in starlight passing through a planet's atmosphere. What they also figured out is that this effect is highly dependent on the size and composition of these particles. For example, Earth's sky is blue because small nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the atmosphere preferably scatter shorter, bluish wavelengths of light, whereas clouds appear white because their much larger water droplets scatter sunlight evenly. The tholins created during the simulation of the photochemistry are only capable of absorbing the light at certain wavelengths. The result is that these molecular bonds are only able to absorb just a tiny bit of the light spectrum. With only a tiny bit of the light spectrum visible, Kreedberg is still not able to do predictions as the information she really needs is still missing. Also, scientists are still having a hard time to accurately predict the composition of the exoplanet's atmosphere. Scientists use computer programs such as the Planetary Spectrum Generator to spin out forecasts for hypothetical atmospheres, but the trick is knowing the proprieties of the hazes that exist in exoplanet atmospheres. This lack of knowledge about exoplanet-relevant hazes has been the elephant in the room for years and efforts to fill the gap have been slowed by a disconnect between exoplanet and planetary science. As time went by, Kreedberg finally got her wish. On the 10th of January, Horst and her team finally made some groundbreaking discoveries. Due to her research, she was finally able to deliver to the world the optical properties across the entire wavelength of the JWST. This includes two of the Tholins, which were needed to finally reach the surface of the GJ1214b exoplanet. These were created in the warm, water-rich atmospheres that produced the most haze. 
Horst's experiments are just a fraction of what the future will bring. Lucky enough, she is not the only player researching the Thalen game, with scientists across the globe finding out more and more about these Thalens every day the future looks very bright for scientific discoveries in space. Collaborations will come in handy as the JWST observations keep pouring in, including ones of the GJ1214B. Creedberg is still analyzing the observations, but thanks to the JWST infrared vision and help from the experimental hazes, Creedberg hopes to decode the atmosphere that has long evaded her. The exoplanet is kind of like a white whale. We've been chasing after its secrets for over a decade now, Kriedberg says. I think this time we finally caught it. That's it for today's video. If you want to stay up on JWST Discoveries, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And by the way, if you like this video, I'm 100% sure you'll also love the next.